Tom, good to see you. I have a really important question. Do you need life insurance if you're retired? I think a lot of people think they don't and their hesitation makes sense, right? The kids are probably grown and out of the house. You're no longer working. You just don't have the same financial responsibilities that you did when you were younger. But I want to know, what do you think? Do people need life insurance if they're retired? Quick answer, of course. Yeah. Uh, you, you know I was going to say that. Uh, people might not have... Um, the same financial obligations that they did earlier in life, but they still have financial obligations. Uh, you know, one of the big, I, I call life insurance the Swiss Army knife of financial products. It can do almost anything that you want it to do, provided that it's built the correct way. Okay. Right. So you need a good pro insurance professional with experience to help you with that design. Mm -hmm. With that said, you know, for me, the number one um, benefit or the number one reason for having it is for either legacy creation and or protection, okay? Um, if we just think about the largest asset that most people have in retirement outside of their home is either their 401k or IRA or some type of um, right. retirement savings program like that, okay? Uh, unfortunately, there's a mortgage on that. Most people don't realize it when they look, open up their statement and they look and they see, I have 500,000, I have a million dollars in my IRA. Well, you don't own all that. That's not all of yours. Roughly half of it is going to go to taxes at some point in, in the future. So all that sacrificing and saving that you did for 20, 30 years of your working life or longer is going to go to the government mm -hmm. and not your children or your grandchildren or your charity. So for me, um, it's, it's the best financial product that you can leverage and get the most out of it. You're paying pennies on a dollar for dollars, and maybe you don't even pay for it. Maybe you have your children or your grandchildren pay for it. And this way you can help create generational wealth right. uh, that can last for, again, generations. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I think one of the many reasons why you're referring to it as a Swiss army knife, depending on whatever you want, is that it is the most tax efficient way to pass on money, right? Absolutely. Because death benefit in almost all cases, the death benefit is income tax free. Uh, so what better money to receive than tax-free money. Right. And Tom, the one thing that we did want to talk about in regards to taxes is you've seen the government debt lately, right? Taxes are probably sure. going to go up. Oh, uh, without a doubt. It's only a, a, it, it's a math equation. It's not a question of if. It's, it's a matter of they have to. Uh, mm -hmm. We just found out within the last week or so, uh, if people watched the news, they paid attention to it, that um, currently uh, the, the federal government fiscal year starts in September. We are currently, as we speak, November 28th, uh, $1.5 trillion over budget. And we're only three months into the fiscal year for the government. Mm -hmm. Not only that, September 18th, we saw the federal debt reached 33 children of uh, 33 trillion dollars by december 28th of this year that's 100 days they will be adding another trillion dollars of debt to make our u.s taxpayers on the hook for 34 trillion dollars right and, and so they either need to raise revenue taxes or reduce spending which we know they don't like to do so let's talk about another reason, income protection. And again, Tom, I feel like this may sound counterintuitive intuitive, intuitive to some retirees. Correct. It, 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 it sounds like, well, I'm retired. Why do I need more income? Right. Well, if we think about it, for a retired couple, a couple, a married couple who are living off of two Social Security incomes, when one spouse dies, they don't get to keep both incomes. They only get to keep one of those social security benefits. Pensions could end. Uh, there could be uh, medical expenses, which we'll get to in just a moment, right? Uh, Long-term care expenses that drain uh, uh, assets. And so there may be other deaths. People, more and more seniors are 
uh, in debt with home equity loans and mortgages and things of that nature. Right. Uh, so that could deplete people's finances very easily at the passing of one or both people. Right. And so, as you mentioned, let's talk about one of the biggest expenses in retirement, health care. And specifically, I want to talk about long term care. We pulled up this area, of course, your area of New Jersey, Tom, and you can see projected out 10 years. The monthly median cost is anywhere from fifty five hundred dollars a month up to nineteen thousand dollars a month, which is why you could consider a life insurance policy with a long term care rider. Uh, correct. Again, it's it's very efficient. Uh, the riders make the de- the long-term care benefit from life insurance products uh, a lot less expensive to have than the more traditional long-term care uh, policies that are out there. Um, the, the insurance companies know what they're going to owe, so it's a lot easier for them to price this type of thing. They're typically more flexible uh, in the payment. So, for example, you, uh, in a more traditional type of policy, you may have to have a licensed professional take care of you in order to uh, recoup benefits. In uh, in what we call an indemnity type of rider with life insurance product, uh, you you may be able to hire your son or daughter or your grandchild or pay your spouse to help take care of you. So there's a lot Mm -hmm. more flexibility um, and I think a a lot more benefit for a lot less cost. There's Mm -hmm. also something called the Filia laws, uh, F I L. IAL laws throughout the United States. We have it here in New Jersey. What that law states is that if mom and dad can't afford a nursing home, the government can force the children to pay those bills for them. So another reason why this type of protection is so important, uh, look, if you don't wanna leave a legacy to your children, well, I don't think you want them to pay for your long-term care either. Right, right. Interesting, Tom. I'm so glad we got to talk this through because I think we're breaking down a lot of misconceptions. If somebody has more questions about designing this, you know, well-structured life insurance with you, what's the best way to reach you? Uh, email TJ O'Connell at internationalfinancial.com or give us a call 973-394-0623. All right. Tom, thanks so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Aaron.